just look at that view. Look at the light on the top of those mountains. This is Glencoe and I am on my way up to the Hidden Valley. I've never been there before. I've seen photographs, it's unbelievable. So I think you're gonna absolutely love this video. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna have a wild camp overnight um, and you are gonna get to come along with me. My name is Stephen and if you love the outdoors, I think you're gonna like more than a few videos on my channel. So after you watch this part, this, uh, so after you watch this one, go and have a look at the others. To get to the Hidden Valley, park at either the two main car parks up Glencoe and then there's a really obvious trail you can just sort of follow leads down, you'll cross the river, and then you start to climb up, up into the valley. Let's go and have an adventure. It's quite a steep drop. This little hidden, a uh, little hidden glen is pretty special in of itself. As you come up here, you can feel the air temperature drop, and you can just feel the moisture in the air coming off the waterfall. Ooh. A creepy hole. Should I investigate the creepy hole? Mm. Yes. Wow. Oh wow. That's cool. It's not so much a cave as there's one, two, three, five giant boulders have just stacked together. Wow. Right, I just stop getting distracted. It's dark in a few hours. There's a little bit of a fork in the road here. I can continue up to the right, or there's a trail that goes up to the left. I'm gonna go left just because it means I get to cross the river. I'm guessing this would not be an easy route to take after a lot of rain. Oh, a bit of a scramble. Oh, wow. Look at this. place. This place is astonishingly beautiful. It's a masterpiece. It's an artwork. If you look up to the right there, you can barely see it now. There's just a hint of the warm glow of the sun coming in from the top right. And most of the light is gone from in here now, but it's just breathtaking. If you were to like design an iconic valley, this has kind of got all the elements. It's got the leading lines, it's got these massive boulders guarding the entrance to it, like trolls that have been turned to stone. Uh, but they create this foreground interest, so you're not just looking into the empty valley, you see in this rock and it draws the eye, and then you look up, up, up to the gorge, and the gorge draws your eye up, 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 up to the summits, and then into the clouds. It's just, it's like a, it's like a theme park for your eyeballs. It feels good just to stand and drink it all in. I think it's time I had something deep. Who brings Crocs on a camping trip? Oh, mate, they're the most comfortable <laughs> thing I've ever worn in my life, okay? Don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> So I bumped into this wee English fella called Evan, who didn't bring any smidge, and, <laughs> and then pitched up in the most midgy corner he could find up here. I'm just differentiating you, because up there there's like three Scottish guys. It's like we've, it's like, 
it's like when none of us get on we've all split up and spread as far as possible to try and keep try and keep the peace Evan has just told me there's some caves up in there so I, that he's planning to murder me I don't know because you know stranger danger well, you go for <laughs> you're the you're the stranger that's come to me and come follow me into this dark place <laughs> watched 13 lives recently so this has got me paranoid <laughs> And then it does get a little bit more gnarly up here, or more exposed. Look at this, he's doing this in Crocs. I told you, man. <laughs> it's graceful enough. No. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is cool. See, this is why you talk to random strangers. <laughs> Okay, happy to report Evan the Englishman did not murder me. <laughs> I'm going back now to get something to eat. Okay, let's play a fun game called Guess Who Went on a Camping Trip in Scotland and Didn't Bring a Raincoat. Yes, it was me. I forgot <laughs> to bring a raincoat to Scotland. And I can't believe my luck because I've looked at the weather forecast and there's actually, there's to be no more than a 10% chance of rain any of the days I'm here, which is unbelievable. Uh, by the way, I was incredibly skeptical about this um, Adventure Nutrition Beef Shepherd's Pie, but it is actually... Mmm, it's delicious. It tastes like, like a really good Irish stew. I'm in Scotland, a really good Scottish stew. Scottish stew thing. So, yeah, there's me in the Hidden Valley. I had planned on making this part of the video during daylight, but um, I got distracted by some caves. <laughs> so the light disappeared. So here we are. As I said earlier, this place is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. And it's really, really peaceful now it's dark as well. I might go for a wander in a bit. I didn't get the light I'd hoped for. I'd hoped for more sunny skies and more dramatic light coming in. Didn't get it, but I still got this place in, like, yeah, absolutely incredible. Right. I'm going to sit here, finish this, and get an early night. I'll see you in the morning. I can't see. Oh, that's hot. It's um, 
it's the morning. It's um, what time is it? <laughs> I probably should have checked that. It's 7 a.m. Sunrise was supposed to have been um, at about 6 6 30. There's no sun out there. Um, there's really low clouds and it's currently raining. I'm gonna sit here, do some reading, have a slurp, and uh, hopefully the sky clears a bit. Oh, that tastes horrible. Okay, settle a debate for me. Do people actually care about watching you pack up after a wild camp? Personally, I can't be bothered with it, but settle the debate. Do you actually find it interesting? Maybe some people do. But I'm all packed up, I'm ready to leave this place, the Hidden Valley. I don't know what it is about this place, but it's just somewhere that commands you just to look at it. I can just stand here and stare and look at details, look at the clouds as they roll over the top of the stob, whatever it is, follow the line of the gully as it goes up the middle of the valley and just kind of run my eyes up the sides of the crags and the cliffs. And look at the trees that are up there. It's just, yeah, it's stunningly beautiful. And it is probably top two wild camping locations I've ever been to. Absolutely amazing. And there's loads of places to pitch up as well, actually. There's a ton of flat space in the middle of the valley. And then there's quite a few little flat areas around the edges down in here that are a bit more sheltered. But um, I'm gonna try and go down a slightly different route. You're supposed, well, I say supposed to, but everybody seems to come in this way. That requires you to climb higher than the valley and then down into. So why can't you follow what's essentially a riverbed straight down? I guess I'm about to find out. <laughs> Goodbye, Hidden Valley. <coughs> so, I'm immediately realizing why people don't go this way. It seems rather treacherous. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm supposed to be down there. And still, I'm still up here. Oh, there's a the path on the other, you can see the path on the other side where smart people went. <laughs> Just continue to go downhill. <laughs> this would be easy with like a backpack on, but. <laughs> okay, back on the original trail. Back down and out of here, so I think I'm gonna leave the video here now that your fears for my safety has have been alleviated. I'm okay, folks. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and comment and let me know of any other places you think I could go do a wild camp video. Um and, and maybe I'll get there sometime, I'll add them to a list. Um and as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe someday I'll catch you out in the trails. Bye-bye. <laughs>